Hello and welcome to this quick tips video where we're going to be taking a look at a few settings in the mix console which will hopefully make your work a little bit easier. They're all to do with metering so this is the amount of level that's passed through each channel. Now you're probably aware if you play a track you can see the peak level which is passed through each track in question at this number here. So the, the number under the fader is the setting of the fader and then this is the actual level of audio that's passed through we see quite a few variations. Now it's not uncommon to need to reset that and typically you do that by clicking on the number. So once this has got down to effectively infinity, if we click it, it will stay like that and there you go. However, resetting a whole load of these can be a little bit long-winded. So the first thing is to go up to the functions menu up here, go to global meter settings and then you can click reset meters and that will reset all of them. So rather than clicking them all individually, you just do that and you can see these are all now on minus infinity. That means you reset everything and you're sure that the level that you're seeing is the current level in the channel, which can be important. The second thing is you can get the meters to hold this visually as well as in this peak level here. Again, go to the functions menu, go to global meter settings and under meter peak, we'll tick hold peaks and they're set to hold forever, which is fine by us at the moment. So we'll click that. And now if I play the track, we can see those numbers here are actually represented on this peak being held here. So we get an idea of what's going on visually pretty quickly. And if I stop the track, we'll see those are retained. But you actually get a bit more than you get from the number because you can see the stereo balance in question. So you may have a track where maybe one side is much louder than the other, and that may be something you need to address. It may not, depending on what the situation is. But Seeing this stereo imbalance here, I mean, this one's clear because of the panning that's happened on this particular track, but this one is a stereo recording where the left and right are slightly imbalanced. And if that is a problem, you can address it here. It may point something out to you that's bothering you elsewhere in the mix. It's also possible to reset those to not hold forever, but to just hold for a few seconds. So if we untick hold forever, you can see they reset. So they stay for a while. And then every few seconds, you see they drop down. And then they drop down again. So they're not quite like some of the things we had back in the day where they would fall down as they go. They stay there for a bit and then they reset. That can be a useful thing if you don't want to have them up all the time, but maybe it's just going to point you in the right direction. Final thing is adding a meter bridge. So here you click the window layout button. I'm going to take the channel racks out and I'm going to put the meter bridge in. So here's the meter bridge and you get some metering at the top. Now this will depend obviously on the levels that the tracks in question, but this can be useful depending on if you've got the screen real estate. There is another option for this as well. So you can change them from PPM to wave. And then you see this waveform display, which in a, I've found a couple of situations where this is useful more than most of the time. It's been because it looks cool and people like the look of it rather than it doing anything functional. But occasionally it can be useful while you're concentrating in the mix, but you can see things coming, see what's happening, etc. So it's a bit like having the project window open while you're in the mixer. So have an experiment with that and see whether or not that works for you. As ever, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you have, please comment, like, and maybe even subscribe. And we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.